A horrifying conflict has ended. The damage is still distressingly visible, but the children of Gaza are going back to school. They cannot forget the trauma of the last few weeks, but they can begin, however tentatively, to pick up the threads of their normal lives. On the first day of my return to school, I was expecting to find damage and destruction because I know that the war machine didn't leave anything in place. No human, no stone. When I first entered, I was shocked from the scenes that I saw. Classrooms damaged, windows broken, every corner in the school reminds us of the war. Hundreds of thousands of children are back in the classroom and schools are operating on double or even triple shifts to accommodate students whose classrooms were destroyed. UNICEF has provided essential learning equipment and teachers are beginning to help their students begin the journey of recovery. We had each girl talk about her experience. Even the teachers were offered the chance to tell their stories. Every girl had a story to tell since they lived in a Tal al-Waha neighborhood, which experienced the ground incursion. In classrooms where there were students killed, some of their classmates were scared to enter the class, and some other classmates refused to sit in the same place where the children had been killed. UNICEF OPT representative Patricia McPhillips visited the Umm al-Fahim secondary school, bringing school in a bag for hundreds of eager students, as well as bottled water. During the conflict itself, we had hotlines up and running, and the number one concern on those hotlines from children um, was, was A, the violence, and their concern about the violence, but, but the second one was school. What were they going to do about school? And I think that says a lot about the children of Gaza really how dedicated they are, how bright they are, and how they really want to move forward. Around 450,000 children attended the first day of school, an 80% attendance rate. As they resume their studies, UNICEF is advocating that all school grounds be cleared of unexploded ordnance. This is Chris Niles reporting for UNICEF Television.